Maisie is very cheeky, she's very happy, she's always laughing, she likes to put makeup on, uh, she loves to play with dollies, anything girly is Maisie. I like playing on my iPad and doing my makeup and I like listening to my directions as well. And I'm very, very lucky that I've got a dog because most little girls don't have a dog. He's like a best friend to me and we play a lot. I first realised there was something wrong with Maisie as soon as she was born and she was put onto my chest. She was just screaming and screaming and screaming. I knew instinctively that there was something wrong. It was a pain cry. It weren't an open your lungs cry. EB, which is a genetic skin disorder, where if you touch her skin, she blisters or her skin completely comes away. The simplest things like picking her up and hugging her has to be thought about uh, before you're doing it. EB is frustrating. Whenever like, my mum changes my bandages, it really hurts me. Sometimes the bandages can stick to me and then pull the skin off. On a daily basis, we get up early, um, we check Maisie for blisters that have occurred overnight, um, we change those. Each day varies, one day it might take me an hour, another it might take me two or three hours. All types of EB will be associated with pain that comes from the blisters in the skin. Unfortunately at the moment we don't have a cure for EB, so it's a lifelong condition and we know that at the moment it's not going to get better, that problem will be with them always. Being told her life expectancy is for is hard, but I think if you sit there and you dwell on that specific one thing, she's not going to have a good quality of life. You've got to take each day as it comes and, as I say, give her the best life as possible. We were first told about Deborah through the hospital um, once she was diagnosed with EB um, and that if we needed any help that or support for anything that they were going to be there. Deborah has supplied me with plenty of emotional help and support. Deborah's made things easier on a day to day basis. The most important thing for me um, that Deborah does is the research part of it because it gives every EB family hope that maybe one day there is going to be a cure. To think about Maisie, I've, I first met her when she was just a few days old. Uh, seeing her grow up and seeing all the challenges that she faces every day, what greater motivation can there be to want to provide better treatments? I never thought I'd see the day where Maisie went to a mainstream school or would even walk. I was always told that she'd never be able to walk. To see her actually taking her first few steps and going through nursery, going to school and being as happy as what she is and coming through all of you know the bad times, um, it's brilliant. I can't believe that she's got to where she is now. I would be back because I want to help animals. I like drawing, I like, um, like playing on the computer with my friend Jessie. There's not a lot of children that would go through what she goes through and still have a smile at the end of the day. She's just absolutely inspirational to many, many, many people, not just me, uh, not just my family, but a lot of people. And, you know, I think that's brilliant.